Hello everyone, Tina here for Pretty Pink Posh. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, I'm excited to share a project with you. We're using two brand new items that just arrived over at the Pretty Pink Posh shop. We'll be using the large shadow, the large love shadow die. This is a two-piece set. Um, and I will also be using the Valentine Mug Editions die set. This is great on its own, but it can also coordinate with the Winter Mug die set. We're going to use it on its own today. There's um, strawberries in here and then candies. You have a spoon, which is just adorable. And you have a real pretty rose, some hearts. I love that there is a, a heart that is double stitched. So you can die cut this out. And create a window with stitching around it or you can use the positive piece and have a stitched heart. I just love that. So we're going to jump in and do a little bit of die cutting. We're going to start by die cutting some strawberries. I'm going to use my nippers here and we're going to separate the dies. I went ahead and separated the spoon here. I'm going to die cut this out with some pale gray cardstock. And then we have our strawberry. This is one die, which I really love, but there's three different um, die cuts. So I'm gonna die cut out some leaves with two different shades of green. Um, the bottom of the, choc the chocolate dip part of the strawberry, I'm gonna die cut out with the brown cardstock. And then the strawberry base, I wanna do a little ink blending with this. So I'm gonna die cut out six with white cardstock here. Oops. While we're die cutting, I'm going to take our large love shadow die. I'm going to go ahead and separate this real quick. And I'm going to die cut out the shadow with white cardstock. And then the love, I'm going to die cut out with some pale blue cardstock. I think that's going to work out great. So I have a little bit of die cutting to do. When I'm all done, we'll do a little bit of ink blending. I have everything die cut out and I'm going to set aside everything but the strawberry bases. And then we're going to do a little bit of blending and then we'll build our strawberries. We're going to do a little ink blending with the base of our strawberries. And I have three different shades of ink. This is, these are all Distress Oxide inks. I have Festive Berries, Picked Raspberry, and I have Fossilized Amber. Um, we'll start with Festive Berries. And just using one of my blending tools, I'm going to ink. And basically we're going to create some two tones or three tones. And I'm going over it just partially on one side. And then I can go in with the other color, which is picked raspberry. And we can add some color here. Okay. I'm going to go down a little bit lower with my festive berries. So we have picked raspberry and festive berries. Now to create my gradient, I'm going to use fossilized amber. I'm going to pick up a little bit of ink. And I'm going to add a little color to one side here. After we have a little bit of color on our white strawberries, we're going to go ahead and use our glue. And then we're going to attach the chocolate dipped portion. Flip these over, add a little bit of glue. And then we'll just layer these on the very bottom of our strawberries. After we have chocolate added to all our strawberries, we have our leaves. And I die cut out three of each, three light green and three dark green. And I'm going to use some more Distress Oxide. This is mowed lawn. I'm going to add a little bit of mowed lawn to the edges of my lighter leaves and then also the darker leaves. Now we're going to take the top of our leaves and these will fit perfectly over the leaves that are on our strawberries. And they'll line up just beautifully. And we will layer our leaves right over the top. Okay. 
and I'm going to do that to all of my strawberries. My strawberries are all done. Now we're going to go ahead and layer together our, our love. We're going to add a little bit of glue behind here. And I did die cut out the shadow love with foam. This way I can add a, add a little bit of dimension and we're going to layer our scripty font right over our shadow. Wonderful. And then I did die cut out the shadow with foam um, too. I might have to trim this because we're going to put strawberries behind it. So we'll put this off to the side. Here is my spoon. I'm going to pop out that little heart and then I'm going to flip it around. I have a small piece of pink cardstock. I'm just going to add glue around this little heart area on the reverse side. May have to trim it down a little bit. If you wanted to die cut out another spoon and just inlay the heart, you could do that. But I think that works just as well. So there's our spoon. I'm going to add a little shading to my spoon with some gray ink. I'm going to use some hickory smoke. And we're going to add a little bit of color to one side of the spoon. This is just going to give a little bit of dimension. And our spoon's all done. Now for my background, I have a panel that is a card front panel. This is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. We're going to do a little bit of ink blending using the Pretty Pink Posh Lattice Stencil. I just wanted a subtle, um, a subtle background along the edges. I'm going to tack that down. And for my background, I'm going to use some tumbled glass ink. This is a very pale blue. And I think it's going to go really good with our strawberries. And I think that looks good. I just went, basically went around the edges and then left the middle white and kind of faded in. We're going to remove our stencil. Lovely. I'm going to take this panel, I'm going to flip it around, and we're going to tack this down to our card base. Once we have this adhered, we're going to take our strawberries. I already put foam squares behind them, and we're going to arrange them on our panel. I know I want my love at an angle here. I'm going to go ahead and use my glue and tack down where I want my love to go. Okay, I'm going to place my foam where I want my sentiment to go right in the middle. And then I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to layer this where I want it to go. And I know I want it to go across my love here. So I'm going to add some foam squares on the top and the very bottom. I'm going to remove the release paper and add a little bit of adhesive. I think I want to tack it here. I think that looks cute. Okay, and then I'm going to remove the release paper off of my strawberries and we're going to arrange them. Once I am happy with the placement, I'm going to flip over my die cut out love and I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. And then I can tack this down over my foam. And then this gives me the dimension without all the bulk. We'll just tuck it under here. I'm going to add a little bit of and I'm going to, I went ahead and put that last strawberry underneath the bottom of my love here. I think six is going to work here. Last but not least, I'm going to bring in some Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear Sequins. 
And just using my glue, we're going to add a little bit of sparkle around the base of our card here. Last but not least, I'm going to use my glossy accents and we're going to go over the chocolate area of the strawberries to give it a little bit of shine. Okay, and then just to add a little extra something, just I'm going to take some scratch paper and then I have some glitter. This is just like a clear chunky glitter. I'm going to add a little bit over that glossy accents just to give it a little extra shine and then I'll tap off the excess. And then that will finish off my project today for Pretty Pink Posh. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you so much for joining me. Have a lovely day and we will see you again real soon. Bye.